Hi, the SI Meteorologist. Paul Dorian here on Friday, August 9th. Well, a cool front that we've been talking about for the past several days is finally making a move towards the East Coast. One more day of showers and thunderstorms here in the east, and then it looks like a pretty decent weekend, as it looks like that front will move far enough to the south and east of the Mid-Atlantic region to allow for a decent weekend, some sunshine on Saturday and Sunday, gradually lowering humidity values likely on Saturday, and decent viewing conditions Saturday night and Sunday night for the Perseid meteor shower, which actually peaks on Monday night. Any of the rain that falls this afternoon or early this evening can come down heavily at times with these scattered showers and thunderstorms. Let's take a look at the latest uh, radar loop. This is from the Penn State Ewall site. For the most part, right now from about New York City on down the I-95 corridor to D.C., it's pretty much rain-free. There were a few scattered showers around over the last couple of hours, but right now, pretty much rain-free in this region right here. Looks like mainly rain-free over the next several hours. But then the afternoon, certainly we'll see an increase in the threat for showers and thunderstorms as all this moisture out here over the Ohio Valley and western part of Pennsylvania will head to the east. That's associated with that cool frontal system pressing to the south and east. And again, any rain that comes down this afternoon or evening could come down briefly heavy at times. Here's the latest surface map across the nation, and we talked about this yesterday, really kind of a double barrel cold frontal system. Here's one frontal system right here, but the main front is out over the western part of the Great Lakes. That'll tend to catch up to this front and move through the uh, mid-Atlantic region by tomorrow morning. That front ought to set up shop right around this region here over the weekend, not too far to the south and east of the I-95 Carter. Cannot completely rule out a shower or a thunderstorm this weekend in the big cities along the I-95 corridor. However, it looks like a pretty decent weekend and uh, as that will drive just far enough to the south and, le and east to uh, promote clearing skies here in the I-95 corridor for this weekend. But again, we have another 12 to 18 hours or so with the threat for occasional showers and thunderstorms and some of that rain will come down heavily at times. Here's a current infrared satellite imagery loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website. Lots of clouds here in the northeastern part of the country. Maybe a few sunny intervals, especially around D.C. over the next few hours, but for the most part, mostly cloudy skies here up and down the I-95 car. Still some heavy rain out over the heartland, out over the middle part of the country where they've had some heavy rain over the past couple of days, flash flooding. Still a concern in Missouri and portions of that part of the country. And again, some showers and thunderstorms now developing in the Ohio Valley. That's what we'll be watching over the next several hours here as all that moves to the east along with that cool frontal system that should finally reach the coast by late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Well, let's take a look at some computer forecast uh, maps for the upcoming weekend. This is from last night's Zero Z GFS model run. For tonight, we have that cool frontal system depicted right here, closing in on the east coast. And again, we have the threat for showers and thunderstorms, especially this afternoon and early this evening from D.C. up to New York City and Boston. Some of that rain will come down heavily at times. Many areas will pick up a half an inch, some areas one inch plus over the next 12 to 18 hours or so. The good news is there's clearing skies behind that, and that uh, it looks like it'll move into the mid-Atlantic and northeast for the upcoming weekend. In fact, here is the forecast map for tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, that front sitting off the east coast and coming back over the southeastern part of Virginia into North Carolina. But notice, nothing but dry conditions here behind the frontal system in the mid-Atlantic region. There could be some clouds and perhaps some lingering showers tomorrow morning in the coastal sections of southern New Jersey, Delmarva Peninsula, but even there they should experience clearing during the afternoon and throughout the mid-Atlantic region a gradual reduction in humidity levels during the day on Saturday. Let's jump ahead to the Sunday morning forecast map. High pressure sitting on top of the Ohio Valley and certainly influencing the weather throughout the mid-Atlantic region. Pretty comfortable conditions here. Uh, no extreme heat in sight. Now again, cannot completely rule out a shower or a thunderstorm in some of the big cities uh, regions along the I-95 corridor this weekend. But for the most part, a nice weekend 
uh, for uh, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City following the potential for some more heavy rain later on this afternoon and this evening. And don't forget, the Perseid meteor shower is ongoing right now, and there certainly can be some meteors visible late Saturday night and late Sunday night, and all that peaks on Monday night. That's it for now. Enjoy the weekend. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.